All sources of this video will be in the description. Following the resignation of six-year Riot Games CEO Niccolo Laurent to, quote, focus on his family, this article from PC Gamer has emerged. Details from an April filing from Rust Consulting give premise of a 2021 settlement that Riot agreed to where initial payments of between 2,500 and 5,000 USD will be paid to 1,548 current or ex-female Riot Games employees with additional money based on role and length of employment, extending up to $156,056. Seven women involved in the suit have opted out out of the settlement, which typically means that they A, disagree to payment terms and want more, B, want to take right to court themselves, or C, which is probably unlikely, they don't want any payment. The article gives more details of the 2018 suit made against Riot Games that alleged systemic sexism and gender-based discrimination at Riot. After the allegations, Riot led their own investigation, which resulted in a statement from them saying, quote, gender discrimination in pay or promotion, sexual harassment and retaliation are not systemic issues at Riot, but that, quote, some writers have had experiences that did not live up to our values or culture. Between the beginning of this suit and the settlement was when former Riot CEO Niccolo Laurent also had a suit launched against him in 2019 for inappropriate and sexual behaviour towards his ex-executive assistant Sharon O'Donnell. But upon another internal investigation from Riot, found, quote, that there was no evidence that Laurent harassed, discriminated or retaliated against her. I do find it odd, however, that once the details of the class action settlement were reported, Laurent stepped down as CEO, but maybe it's just coincidence. The company welcomes Dylan Judea as its new CEO with the departure of Laurent. What do you think of this situation? Let me know in the comments below and for more League news, be sure to subscribe. Bye!